Welcome to another edition of Follow Your NOLA. I'm your host, Jaina Graber. Now, it's no doubt that people come to New Orleans for its rich history and culture, but it's our delectably unique cuisine that keeps them coming back for more. Today, I want to take you to five restaurants that'll have your taste buds screaming for a return trip to the Big Easy. in Jackson Square, where food isn't the only thing people leave here talking about. All right, Vatican, so I was just downstairs talking to Denise about this restaurant's haunted history of sorts. Oh, more than a haunted history. We have an actual ghost who lives here on the property, Antoine Jordan. He loved this place more than any other owner. He bought it right after the Great Fire, completely redid the building, put his heart and soul into it. He also unfortunately liked to play card games, and he lost the card game and lost his entire palace here in the French Quarter. He made the decision at that point, shortly before they were about to take possession, that he would never leave his great palace, and so he came to this room that you see here, threw a rope over the post that we stand directly beneath, and stepped off into eternity with a rough hewn rope around his neck. So it's been said that Antoine still lives here. Oh yes, he is still here. That's why we set the table for him downstairs. In fact, we tell all of our patrons when they come in, make sure you stop off and say hello to Antoine before you leave. You'll always find him at his regular table. I'm here with Miss Denise Gracia, uh, the marketing director as well as one of the owners of Muriel's. Um, we are in the cathedral room, the beautiful cathedral room, looking at beautiful food. Tell us a little bit about these two dishes that we have in front of us. Right. Um, this is you're having our barbecue shrimp, which is delicious Gulf shrimp flavored with a Vita amber beer and our own house-made Worcestershire sauce. And this is one of the top-selling dishes in the restaurant. Mm -hmm. Is that true? You can't see it because the shrimp are so big, but there's also a chipotle grit cake under there that's delicious. My dish is called Seafood Bayou Base, and it's Chef Gus Martin's take on a traditional hula base. Amazing, so should we dig in? Definitely. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> <laughs> and you can find this recipe online on our website at muriels.com. Our next stop is the Praline Connection. Now this place has been serving up soul food since 1990, but has a little something extra to offer that most restaurants just don't have. And that's their handmade praline. Let's go check it out. People come to New Orleans for three things, music, food, and candy. And we had to come up with a name that people would associate with to come and see us at the restaurant. So I came up with the name of the Protein Connection. Well, a Protein is really a candy made with milk, butter, sugar, and pecan. But it really originated from France. It's a, and they made it with walnuts. But because we don't have almonds and walnuts down here, we just substituted the pecan. And that's how we make them. Sugar, butter, pecan, and a lot of tender love and care. If you're looking to dine in a place where you'll feel like one of the family, the Baquet family to be exact, come on down to Lil Dizzy's Cafe, where they're serving up New Orleans style breakfast and lunch to locals and tourists alike. I made this restaurant stand out by having the best Creole soul food in the city of New Orleans and the most variety. And that, that's the reason why when you come in here you find people from all walks of life because we do it all. Dizzy's is one of my favorite restaurants in New Orleans. Uh, it's located on uh, Esplanade right off of uh, Claven Street. I've been eating in the uh, Barcade family restaurant for probably 30 to 40 years. The food is always excellent, the service is great, got a good atmosphere, and this is what I would call the classic New Orleans Creole cuisine restaurant. Dookie Chase Restaurant has been a staple since 1941, and with over 72 years of culinary excellence, this place has rightfully earned its spot as a New Orleans iconic restaurant. My vision when I first came in here was to have a restaurant like I worked in in the French Quarter. 
You see, I saw my people with nothing. I saw my people come to the table and eat their little food on no tablecloths or no nothing. Uh-uh, I want the same thing I saw over there, I want for my own people. That was my whole thing, to get a restaurant for my own people. You know, so they could eat and enjoy things and learn things and be served. And, and that's what I like. That's what I like about the restaurant business. I like to serve people. I think everyone should at least try gumbo once. It's something that you pretty much can't get anywhere else. At least you can't get it the way that you get it in New Orleans. Go to other places for gumbo and you might get a red gravy or a different color gravy. But if you want authentic New Orleans gumbo, you have to come to New Orleans to get it. And you have to come to the gumbo <laughs> shop, absolutely. Just that good old taste of Louisiana. That's why we like it. The gumbo is great. Um, out of a lot of the restaurants that we've come to, this was like number one for us. Um, we like to make it homemade and this is close to home for us, so um, the food is fresh. Um, we came here and um, you order and then it's like they cook it right then. We like that. <laughs> it's hot, it's good, it's almost like being at home, so you know, the kids enjoy it. Any place that we would go to, it has to be kid friendly for us because we travel in a big pack. restaurants that will not only tickle your taste buds, but their stories will intrigue you. So the next time you're in New Orleans and you're in the mood to be entertained by a ghost, to feel like a part of a New Orleans Creole family, to dine with a legend, get the best gumbo in town, or your sweet tooth is just kind of calling your name, you know exactly where to go. See you next time, and as always, laissez les bon temps rouler. Let the good times roll.